asks, has anyone found a way to view public folder contacts or shared mailbox contacts in the new Outlook interface? And the answer to that is no, not yet. Um, the new Outlook is primarily, with a few little bells and whistles added onto it, the same as if you took uh, Outlook Web Access and pasted it into a uh, progressive web app frame and just stuck that on your desktop. It's virtually the same thing. It does allow now now allow for um, uh, additional um, <clears throat> additional accounts. Uh, the last I saw it will now accept a uh, an IMAP account from like Yahoo or Gmail, but the things that it doesn't do compared to these original classic desktop outlook are voluminous. It doesn't do what you're asking. It doesn't do custom fonts. It does. It has a very limited set of rules that can be applied. It doesn't run them like at that on command. Um, it it doesn't do. Oh gosh, it uh, it doesn't allow you to have a. Uh, if you do a reply or a forward, you get it pasted into the frame unless you've got um, the. Uh, the, the preview pane on and then then it will then it will pop the message out for you. But there are just there's there's issues with calendaring. There's just it doesn't do a lot. Uh, there is a site. Uh, there is an announcement of the thing over on tech community and uh, hopefully um, our, our good friend Christian here will include that link. The link will be there. People won't people yes. reading this or watching this will We'll see it. And on and that 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 particular page is updated fairly frequently as the things that they that they're they're adding. That's just and that will also give you a chance to see a lot of the things that they don't do yet. Yeah. A lot of I, it will say coming, some of it will say just not gonna happen. Is that the wording they used to? No, that, that's, of course that's not there. I I would prefer it. Not if planned at this time. Not under happen. review. It's uh, under the review. items like or, you know, yes. you're dreaming. <laughs> you know, we don't use I, that either. I, honestly, I struggled. I think we had this conversation a couple of years ago. How like I was struggling to give up the desktop and move over to OA, and and I've got it as a PWA. So uh, you know, and but it, I made that jump over because of the new features, the cloud-based features were just more compelling than what I was losing. And so I made the switch over and I'm 100% over. Yeah, look, there's some annoying things when I want to go and I'm organizing, you know, activities, do some other things. There's a few extra clicks that I have to do or to open up to get around some of the way that it, it works. But otherwise, I've I've forgotten about the reasons why I was reluctant to move over to OA and uh, I'm all in now. Yeah, well. <clears throat> looking around on the news groups, there's an awful lot of people that are awfully upset about all the things that it does not doesn't do. There's also quite a uh, good deal of consternation about bringing the old Outlook back. Um, when you install, flip the switch in the classic Outlook to bring up the new Monarch client, as if that's its code name, um, the old Outlook client is not removed. It's it's there. They both live side by side. You can run them both at the same time. I have found, though, that on a number of people, uh, there is a uh, swap or a registry setting that is that gets that gets made. Um, that winds up. So it doesn't matter which one of the two um, shortcuts icons that you click, you wind up on the new one. Um, there is a support article at Microsoft, which I can also pass along, um, that uh, will tell you how to revert that so that you can throw the on-off switch back off again hmm. and uh, make sure that the, the classic Outlook is the one that always loads when you want that one to load.